everybody, and welcome back to the Wapet Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I am joined with the lovely Jolene once again. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you yeah. for having me. I should give you, like, more and more better, like, nick like titles as this thing goes on. Like, the next time I introduce you, I'm just like, the pretty Jolene. <laughs> Ew, no. At the party. <laughs> <laughs> I cut that out. <laughs> I dragged Jolene back into, I, I would say the studio, but th we're doing this over a fucking Discord call of, uh... No, no, no. This is the studio. Yeah. What are you talking about? In our, uh, very professional studio with professional mics and a professional-looking couch uh -huh. where we sit down and, and read from our Wattpad phones. Professionally. Professional, yes, professionally. We were able, well, I was, I don't know why I'm saying we, Jolene was able to find a Husker Dusk book. That wasn't that bad, but I don't know if I need to put warnings before this, so I don't, I don't know yet. I read, I read through the. the I like how. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, this shit be cooking, and and I was like, all right, we're doing this one. So this one. I like how you go find it. Like I found one that's good, even though I literally, I think this was maybe the first or second <laughs> one I clicked on. Really? Yeah, Did I'm back there. I de yeah, I skimmed. Okay. I, I, I skimmed like maybe one sixth of the, the first chapter, and I was like, you know what? This is good. Yeah. Was it one sixth? <laughs> yeah. It was a third. There we go. All right. Well, this one is by Big Red Boy, and it's called Consequences Husker Dusk. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, the I think this is an AU because Husker is still. An overlord. So it reads The Hus the Overlord Husker wins Angel Dust's soul in a game with Valentino. Angel Dust tries to adjust to his new environment, but Husker catches Angel's eye in an unexpected way. Great and mature oh. and complete. Mature and complete. Those are the two words I love to hear. Yeah. The complete part. The complete part. The complete part. I didn't even process that I said mature. <laughs> Me when I see a Sanji X reader. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we'll see what the wheel has foretold. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Are you manifesting? Yeah, I'm manifesting right now. I actually was like, oh, if they don't end up finding a, a, like a Husker Dust that isn't like super mature, I have a Sanji X reader in the back of my pocket right now that I can throw at any moment in time. <laughs> Alright, uh. Oh yeah, we don't have to do the fucking- we don't have to give ourselves like a shitty OC name. Let's go. Alright, chapter one. They all, did you just snicker? <laughs> <laughs> I laughed a bit. Uh, <laughs> this one's called Deal Because my brain's like, oh yeah, we're gonna be called Vanessa Pancake or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, right there, right there, now we can use that for later. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna use that if we do a Five Nights at Freddy's one. <laughs> I was actually thinking for, for Sanji, our last name being Pancake. <laughs> I knew it. We, same brain. Anyway, <laughs> where is our lovely coin? I have it right here. It's still Canadian. Alright. Canadian. Yeah. It's a weird Canadian currency. It's 20, it's 20 cents. 20 cents? Yeah, this is, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you, but it's- Oh, it says 20 pence. That's Canadian, right? I don't- I don't think so, but- What- I would like to choose tails. Oh, right. Eh. It's tails! Oh, damn! Yeah, you had to douche it. My manifesting <laughs> didn't work right. <laughs> it keeps landing on you. You gotta get better at guessing. <laughs> No, last time it didn't land on me. The last two times, actually. I'm trying to remember what we read last time. Did we read the Vox one last time? We did. Oh, I, I, oh yeah, because I remember- Remember, being, all hell broke loose. <laughs> I remember being like, oh my god, yes! I get to read first! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry uh, about me, good, I'm just that's... a simp. <laughs> just... Angel shifted uncomfortably as he followed Val into the massive casino. He wasn't sure why Val was here, or why he had to tag along, but one thing was certain. The feeling of dread in the air was awful. People were crying in the corners, others were drinking until they collapsed, and finally, 
Angel's eyes landed on the main table where a winged overlord sits. It was a cat-like demon, with massive wings, almost as big as Val's, though they were neatly folded behind him as he sat quietly at the table. Two other demons at the table with him were shaking, nervous as all, as all get out, but it was clear when Angel saw exactly what they were playing for. Angel's eyes widened as he saw soul contracts laid out on the table. The winged overlord smiled as he laid the cards out on the table. Full flush. The overlord's gravity voice boomed through the casino. The centers of his table threw their cards down and almost instantly, purple chains appeared around their necks. Angel held his neck where Val's chains would usually appear. Val looked at Angel, then back to the overlord. As Val approached the cat, de As Val approached the cat demon's table, Val's eyes locked with the cat. Husker, it's a pleasure to see your business is going well, Val says with a painfully vague voice. Husker's ears twitch. Yeah, it's going good tonight. He motions at the two demons to leave. Sit, Husk says, as he's shuffling the deck cards. Val sits down in one of the seats and starts. So, uh, look, Husker stops him. Why isn't he sitting? Husker points towards Angel. Val looks towards Angel, and Angel immediately looked away. He's not making a deal. I am. He doesn't matter, Val said. Husker growls. Growls. He's with you. I won't be disrespected by him not sitting down. Husker pauses and looks towards Angel's. Sit down, baby. You're okay. Angel looks at Val, and he makes no protest. Angel smiles at Husker and sits down. Can we continue now? Val spat. Husker nodded. Val continued. When Vox and I spoke to you- Oh my god, you're mad! It's my husband! <laughs> 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 oh can I spoke to you last? Same brain, same brain! Can I just say that I was being made fun of heavily in the server because I, I, I was working, I was like at work working and I got a little Discord notification on my computer and like, it was just like an image that someone sent but it had the word Vox in there. I was like, oh, what's this? So I pressed on it and it was like a, just a little like, like graphic. And I'm like, oh, I thought you guys were just like, drop it in like art or some shit because I saw the word Vox and they're like, damn, what a way to lower Phoenix in <laughs> Discord. I'm like, no, I'm not that easily won <laughs> over. And then Elf, <laughs> and then I tapped out, went back to work, and then I got another notification <laughs> from Elf saying TV men shirtless and I pressed something. <laughs> I was so <laughs> You're kidding. No, this is so funny. It's so funny. And I just said, like, God so damn funny. it. I need to see that. I'm literally looking for that right now. In general, I'll see if I can screenshot. I was like, I'm not easily fooled like that. Back in there, like, she was about with TV. Did you, no, stop. Full stop. Did you go, I'm not easily fooled by that bonka. Did yeah, you just say I that? Did. Well, right now, I did. That's I, what I, I thought you just said right now. <laughs> I, I did say that wrist just now, but I did not type that. I'm not that. I'll see if Please. I can find it. Here, I'll, I'll see it. if I can skim. Oh, continue, right. continue. When Vox and I spoke to you last, we were speaking about your contribute. Speaking about you contributing to the V's. You and your casino make thousands a night. Thousands? That's broke people money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, millions. Uh, plus your large collection of souls would be extremely helpful towards the V's and our goals. Val spoke with an oddly polite tone. Angel looked at it over to see him reading off a card, signed by Vox. Figures. Angel sighed under his breath. Husk smiles. I told you last time. I don't want to be part of your V's bullshit. There's nothing- there's no reason financially I should contribute to your ring of hell. Val growled and, and flipped through a few cards. He's fucking flipping the car, the loser. <laughs> What's going on here? I knew you love to play, so why not a game? Husk smiled wide. I'm listening. Val continued. If I win, you contribute 25% of all your earnings to the V's. Husker spat. Spat at that. That's a big pot. What are you offering to lose? Husker said, narrowing his eyes. Val sighed. It's obvious that he was being forced to do that. To do this. Ah. If I lose, you get an angel. 
Angel's eyes widened as he asked Val what he was thinking, but he started to think. This was his chance to get away from Val. He didn't know this Husker, but he couldn't be as bad as Val. Husker's eyes flicked to Angel. Interesting, he hummed. What use would I have for you, Angel? Oh, oh shit, I'm sorry. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> what use would I have for Angel? Val rolled his eyes. Have you not seen his films? He's a star. He get <laughs> fuck, I gotta read this. He can suck and fuck better and <laughs> he can suck and fuck anyone you want. He's that's where stopped him. Stop. I heard enough. Me too. I just Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so funny. No. You're hilarious. Well, thank you. Uh Of course, I need that. Husker's face was almost unreadable, but it was definitely a version of disgust. Okay, I'll play. What game? Husker growled. 21, Val said. Husker snapped his fingers, and one of his imp dealers appeared and started to shuffle and deal the cards. Imps? Really? I thought you were better than that. Val- Sorry, I thought I saw a shadow in the room. <laughs> I so see shadows in my room. <laughs> no! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Val laughed while I the imps up and down. Husker roll his eyes. I'm so the best. They're cheap, easily impressed, and best of all, they're rare this side of hell, so people come from all over just to drink, get a drink for one. Husker laughed. I guess they're a kink or something. I don't know. Val thought for a moment. Angel, remind me to get more imp actors for tomorrow's show. Angel sighed. Yes, Val. Husker picked up his card, and Val picked up his. Angel stared at Val's cards. A six. Angel's never seen Val play 21, or any gambling game for that matter. He also started at- uh, he also stared at Husker, who was stone-faced as he chose to get another card. Val did the same. He got an eight. So now he has 14. That's an awful hand. Angel looked at Husker, who stayed still. Angel sighed and laid his head down and went to sleep. Angel was- was awoken by Val slamming the deck. My mom's at the door. I don't want to curse. <laughs> Bullshit! You cheated! Val <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I'll be here on Husker it. <laughs> Husker's wings cleared. How the fuck can I cheat at 21? You Plus, you lost five times in a row. I win. You lose. Get the fuck out of my casino. Val stood up to leave and Husk stopped him. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, huh? Ah, Angel's soul contract. Husk held out his hand, which Val, only because Box was telling him to, handed Angel's dust, handed Angel Dust's contract over, and suddenly Angel's pink chain began to turn a dark purple color. Angel felt the chain around his neck and closed his eyes, expecting Husker to pull or choke him with it. But surprisingly, Husker just put it on the table next to him and invited Angel to sit next. To Meantime, in the meanwhile, Val was stomping away, screaming at Vox on his phone. Angel sat down warily and greeted his new. I don't like that. Greeted his new owner. Hi, I'm Angel, just sir. What would you want me to do? Angel coughed out. Husker looked him over for a moment and said, "Well, what do you want to do?" Angel was surprised by this question. Well, I don't. I don't really know. Angel says, looking down at his feet. Husker says, Do you have a place to stay? Angel nodded. That's not at Val's? Husker corrected, Oh, um, no. Husker nodded, whispered something to an imp that was passing by, then turned back to Angel. Well, we're closing for the night. It's late. You can sleep in my office. That imp, Husker motions towards the imp waving at them a few feet away. We'll show you to your room. And without another word, Hus got up and left the room. Angel watched all the imps work. The imp dust Husk talked to earlier called out. Hey, Angel Dust, right? I'm a huge fan, Angel smirks. Uh, you know my work? Uh, does the cat know? The imp paused for a moment. Oh, you mean Husker? I mean, probably. Why? The imp started walking, eh, walking towards Husk's office. Just curious. How are we working for him? Is he mean or anything? The imp unlocked a big red door. 
and the word Husker branded on the front. Damn pro damn sugarhead. Oh no. Husker actually pays us. Angel's eyes widen. Y'all get paid? What the fuck? That's so random for a business in hell, especially run by an overlord. The imp opened the door and nodded. Exactly what I thought. He's also a cute drunk. The imp giggled. Angel raised an eyebrow at this. Maybe life under Husker wouldn't be so bad. He entered his room and Angel saw the desk Husker was, bleh, Husker was set at. There was cat hairs all over the place. Luckily, there was a nice couch to sleep on. And Angel laid down and dozed off to sleep. Husker knocked on the door gingerly. One of his imps told him that Angel was still asleep inside. After he waits a while with no answer, he enters to see Angel, Angel Dust sprawled out on the couch. Husker just ignored him and started to work for the day. It was at one o'clock when Angel finally went woke up. Husker's eyes flicked to Angel as he sat up from his sleep. Morning, Husker grunted. Angel looked around the office for a moment and then at Husker. What time is it? Angel asked, still groggy from sleep. One, you slept like 12 hours. It Husker sent his cut off by Angel cursing. Shit, Val's gonna kill me. I gotta go. Husker rolled his eyes. You don't work for me anymore, remember? You work for me now. Husker said, standing from his desk. But this is, in my brain, I know like, normally when like they, people stand up for their desk, it's like mildly intimidating. But considering the height difference between Angel and Husker, <laughs> like... <laughs> And right. It's so funny. He's so small. He's so cute. <laughs> He's itty bitty. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's just a small little dude. He's just a little guy. He's just a little drunk guy who runs a casino. Yeah. <laughs> I, wait, wait, wait. I have a question. I have a question. For me? Okay, let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just like Kazan kind of tell questions. Okay. You, know, okay. you know, I don't, I got know. You. I got I don't you, know too much. Um, if. If Husk was an overlord, would he be the smallest over overlord? I'm trying to remember his height. I think is he Velvet taller than Velvet? Is, I, I, think... I know canonically Velvet is six foot. I don't know if Husk six is also foot. six foot. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty goddamn short in hell. I mean, like, she was standing up on the table during, like, like episode three, and she was so fucking she short than tiny. some of those people. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, cause uh, like Vox is seven foot. Val Val is uh twelve feet tall. Alistair ah, seven. Get feet. that man out of here. Wait, but, boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Leslie, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we had like to make his it up design to them. Though. We had to make it up to them. We had to read a Val and Tio actually. <laughs> Whoa. No, no, no. no. <laughs> No, I'm not putting myself through that. They can read that, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was my question. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> I'm so glad it can be helpful. Sorry, I must have been drunk last night. I'm so used to working for Val. Husker gro uh, growled in annoyance. Well, I'm nothing like that fucker Valentino. Treats his employees like shit, makes garbage films, and gives his people nothing. Yeah, he's still surprised why everyone hates him. Husker's wings flared in anger. Angel raised her brow. You two got beef? Angel asked. Husker sat down and allowed his wings to fold neatly uh, back behind him. And a man are speaking, yeah. We used to be partners. We're in a joint strip club slash casino. It was great. I looked past the money and what Val was doing to these people. To people like you. And I couldn't take it anymore, so I left. Angel smiled slightly. So you're a big ol' softy under that grizzled face, Angel teased. Husker rolled his eyes. Just more sympathetic, sympathetic demon, I guess. I don't know. Alright, chapter part two, new home. Okay. Oh my god. No ads? I'm blessed. Yay! Husker stood from his desk as he slid a... A signed paper towards Angel. Sign here, Husker said, tapping on the paper. Angel smirked. You already own my soul. What more do you want? Husker sighed. There's a few rules that we gotta go over while you're employed here. Angel's smile fade. Here it comes, he thought. You're free to come and go as you please. As long as you're here on your 
for, as long as you're here for your shifts, you'll have a uniform. I'll have a wait, but you'll have a uniform for you when you say, "Nothing here is free. Everyone can, everyone can look at you, but no touching. You can fuck people on your own time, but if anyone here is making you uncomfortable, we'll handle it." Ooh, oh my God, the bare minimum is being achieved. <laughs> And just blinked in disbelief. Was he hearing this right? These turns were amazing. And that's it? I don't gotta suck your dick every day or something? Let's go raise an eyebrow. No, god, why are you so obsessed with sex? <laughs> now tell me that you were sex crazy when you bet you, but I thought he was just fucking with me. And you just smirked. Don't you know who I am? I'm Angel Dust, the famous porn star. Surely you've seen my films. Hus. Hus- wait, Hus Frog blinked and then shook his head. I don't watch porn. Frog blink. <laughs> oh, like one at a time, that's right. I was like, what the fuck's a frog blink? I don't watch porn. I'm sh I'm sure you were. Husker paused as he stared at Angel's body. Great. Angel laughed as he bent over to stare at him, catching his f fluffy cleavage fall in Husker's view. You know a baby? Why not have a taste? Husker rolled his eyes, not interested, though other people at this casino will be. Just don't let me catch you fucking during casino hours, got it? Husker sounded quite serious and Angel sighed. Of course, Husky. But seriously, you don't want a quickie? Are you straight? Angel said, looking at the cat like overlord. Husker smirked. No, I'm not. Just. I lost that part of me that would have been. Wait, wait a minute. I've lost that He's part of me that would have fucked you a long time. Did, wait, did, are they talking about he got Does he mean neutered? personality or does he mean the appendage? Because I, I with the appendage, he could just get a strap, you know? But. <laughs> it, made, it made it sound like he got neutered. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. Angel looked at himself in the mirror before stepping out of the bathroom. The uniform husker had. Had all of his staff wear, wasn't tight at all. Didn't hug his curves, and didn't even have a window for his fluffy cleavage. Angel poked his head out of the bathroom and called for Husker, who was standing a few feet away having a drink. His ears turned first, then his eyes. Angel called him over. As Husker entered the bathroom, Angel cried, This outfit is awful! It doesn't hug my ass! And there's no boob window! What am I supposed- to, How am I supposed to be sexy in this? Angel said, pulling on the outfit. Husser looked Angel over with his large yellow eyes, while Angel fell silent as he f felt Husser's gaze on his body. I think you look great, and now get out there and do your damn job, Husker said while rolling his eyes. Before he left, he added, I'll wear you a better outfit to your liking for tomorrow, Husker said. While looking back at Angel, Angel smiled back at Husker. Angel was... Uh, Constantly getting called over to table to table, trying to get a feel or a look at the porn star. Luckily, Husker called him over, allowing him to get away from the drunk idiots. Angel walked over to Husker's table. Yes, Husker? Angel said. Husk grunted and motioned to sit down at the table. Angel sat down and looked at who Husk was talking to. His eyes widened when he's- He's so far! Oh my god! He's the Vox is here?! <laughs> oh my god, Vox. Oh wow, oh you're your man. I'm not dressed so right. I'm. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a mess. Not my <laughs> my boy <boys> showing. <laughs> uh, fuck. I I, <laughs> I saw on the other side of the table. There he is. Vox annoyingly stared, piercing Angel's skin. Husser growled. There he, there he's here. Now what do you want? Vox smiled wildly as his distinct buzzing noise that emanated from his being. We simply want Angel back. We would be in your debt and we would a wouldn't ask for your financial help again. I apologize profusely for Valentino's outburst and I hope we can move on. I, I love how well, Vox has to do this shit. Because <laughs> you know Valentino was not saying sorry. <laughs> No customer service experience. Yeah. <laughs> Angel studied Vox's expression. Clearly Vox wasn't in power here. Husk held all the cards. But having the V's in debt to you is extremely is an extremely powerful position. Angel looked at Husk here to see his reaction, but surprised to see 
Him staring at Angel. Well, what do you want to do, Angel? Kasir said with a calm, low tone that resonated with Angel's ears. I, I don't want to go with you. I want to stay here with Husker. Angel muttered out, staring at the table, not daring to meet Husker or Vox's eyes. Husker luckily did the rest of the talking. Well, you heard him. He, did, he wants to stay with me. So unless you want to gamble for him, get out. Husker growled. Vox grumbled a bit before standing up. Shame. We would have made a great team, you and you and the V's. Husky rolled his eyes. You bullshit. You just want my money. Fox rolled his eyes. Rolled, rolled eyes flat. Wait. <laughs> my fucking reason. Fox. Oh, hold on. Fox rolled eyes flat eyes before vanishing into a bolt of electricity and zapping into the nearest security camera. I don't know if the eyes thing made sense. <laughs> The casino was finally calmed down after the vis of Vox and Husker started to finally relax. Sitting at the bar, the bartender imp gave him his usual. Husker nodded and tipped handsomely, nodding at the imp to go home. Leaving Husker alone at the bar when Angel sat down next to him. Hey, Angel said in a seductive tone. Hmm, what do you want? Something wrong? Husker said, completely ignoring the tone Angel had. Yeah, something is wrong. You haven't been rewarded yet for standing up to me, Angel said, leaning over on the counter. Huster looked over at him with an odd expression. No, that that won't be necessary. You're my employee, and that's why I set up for you. Huster said, taking another swig of his drink. Angel rolled his eyes. So, you, so you would have done that for anyone? Huster paused and then took another swig. Well, no, because they aren't as valuable as you. You are something the V's want, and seeing how they treat you, I'm not gonna let them have you. Husker down the rest of his drink before reaching behind the counter and grabbing the entire bottle. Angel laughed. So you really don't want to fuck me? Then why are you doing any of this? Husker spat out a bit of his drink and shook his head. No, I ain't like that. Now drop it, and I don't want to hear any more sex talk from you. Huff said in a serious tone, but he had to admit, but he had a hint of a smile on his lips. Whatever you say, Husky, Angel said before getting up from the bar. And stop calling me that. Your new room is right across from mine. You should have your name on it. Hus said, tapping the top of his bottle with his claws. Angel smirked. Oh, so close to the boss. I feel so special. Lester sighed in annoyance before going back to his drinking. Wait, I can't believe my husband showed up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Part three, settling in. I need some water after that one. The box came on. I get me all thirsty, man. <laughs> Angel bounced around the casino in his new outfit, sold perfectly to his liking. Nice boots that sound beautiful on the wooden floors of the casino. His outfit, now looking closer to his normal look. Had a nice skirt that went down to the middle of his thighs and a large and a large boob window for all his fluff to show. The casino was booming in populator, popularity after the word of Angel Dust being a worker there got out. Every snob from every ring was there either to gamble or to stare awkwardly at Angel. Angel went to refill on the table's drinks at the bar when Husker flew in from outside, the wind blowing through Angel's hair, messing it up slightly. Did you really stand them staring at you like that? Husker grunted, while looking at the crowd of low lights all staring at Angel. Oh please, this is tame compared to my last job. Angel just rolls, rolled his eyes as he bent down to put some drinks on his plate. Husker rolled his eyes as Angel's skirt became rolled up as he bent down, causing everyone in the casino to lean in, trying to get a better look. Husker instinctively covered Angel's back with his wings. Are you doing that on purpose? Husker asked, eyeing the crowd. Doing what? Angel asked, standing up, realizing his hyped up skirt. Oh jeez, how did that happen? Angel asked, and it, or Angel said in an innocent tone. Husker growled and rolled his eyes. Your job is to make him drunk, not make him, not make him hard. Angel giggled as he shook his hips back and forth. 
Is it too much to ask for both? Or pinch the bridge of his nose. Listen, when people get horny, they, well, they don't think straight. They make rash, rash choices they wouldn't make normally, and well, these people have nothing left to lose, so they may... Husky struggled to put, push the word out of his throat, but Angel stopped him. I can handle myself, Whiskers. If one of these fuckers acts up, I'll tell you and you'll throw him out. Simple as that. Husker sighed. It's not that simple. I'm not always going to be around and well. Husker paused for a moment. After all those years working for Val, I thought you'd be a little, I don't know, less receptive to being seen like that. And he'll put his drinks down to face the overlord. You think I enjoy this? I need this? I do what I do because it's the only thing I'm good at. Now get off my case. Husker growl. Excuse me. I don't force you to do shit. Don't get snappy with me, Angel. You're the one who requested your outfit change, but suddenly you don't like it? I give you a chance to a new start, not to be that porn star on TV anymore. Now you can't just help yourself, can't? Now you can't- Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, the trap. Trap! Husker's booming voice was ringing in Angel's ears. I'm gonna poke the cat's chest as he spoke. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know, that's just- he's so small. <laughs> I, I do what I do because people will never see me differently. There's no hope for me to be anything other than a porn star. How's your finally lost at school? I thought you were smarter than that, Angel. Everything I've given you and you're still turning back to Val? Angel's eyes widened as Husker spoke Val's name. Ex-fucking-excuse me? I'm not turning to Val by being who I am. Just shut the fuck up, old man. Angel stomped away before being stopped by chains forming around his throat. Angel realized the entire casino was staring at their argument. Even the imps were getting worried. His thoughts were broken by Husker's low booming voice overwhelming his ears. You forget your place, Angel Dust. Husker's wings flared as he held loosely on Angel's chain. You will respect me, whether you like it or not. I won't take that kind of insubordination again. Or I'll call Val and see about working out a deal. Husker's voice was as serious as Angel has ever heard it. Yes, Husker, sir. Angel crooked out, eyes staring directly at Husker's feet, not daring to stare at him directly. Go to my office, Husker barked as he let the chain, dis the chain around Angel's neck disappear. Angel hurriedly exited the main lobby and headed to Husker's office. And he could hear Husker addressing the crowd of onlookers and apologizing for the disturbance. Angel Paster, can you hear my cat meowing <laughs> so loud? I'm so sorry. No, that's just that's just Husker. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have him locked in my house. Um, <laughs> Angel Paster around Husker's office. Angel had expected him to come back and talk to him right after addressing the crowd, but he didn't. It was hours before Husker finally knocked on the door before entering. Husker closed the door behind him and started and stared daggers at Angel, who was sitting with his head in his hands around the couch. What the fuck was that? Husker asked. Angel looked up at the overlord and tried to say anything, but no words came out. Why the fuck would- why the fuck would you talk to me like that, let alone in public? Husker asked again. I just lost my cool, okay? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Husker. It won't happen again, and- Angel was cut off by Husker raising his hand. It better not, Angel. I don't care if we have a shouting match outside the casino, outside of casino hours, but the second those casino doors open, I'm the boss and you're the employee. Understood? Angel nodded. Good. Now get it out. You have tomorrow off. I need a day to cool down. I won't worry about you anymore. You could wear or act however you want. Just follow the rules I set out, okay? Husker's words were less angry and more reassuring. Angel nodded again and standed up to leave and Husk stopped him at the door. Here, go have fun on your day off. Husker slapped a few hundred in Angel's hands and Angel's eyes grow wide. What? I thought you were pissed at me, Angel said and Husker stared at the spider for a moment. I am. But it's your first, so I'll let it slide. I want you to be happy here, so go buy you something good or whatever you do on days off. Husker lets him pass and walk towards his desk to start work. Angel stared at the money briefly before staring back at Husker. 
Thank you, Whiskers. Angel smiled at him. Husker just smiled and waved him away. Dude, this is- hold on. This might be cooking. Hold on. <laughs> if my computer wants to go to the next part, there we go. Mistakes? What do you mean, mistakes? Oh? What mistakes? I'm scared. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, it hadn't been a few weeks since Husker and Angel's argument, and things were back to normal for the most part. Husker still rolls his eyes at all of Angel's jokes. Angel was strutting around the casino. The hype of Angel Dust working here had finally calmed down. There was a few regulars who would only show up to stare at Angel if, as he served drinks. Angel didn't really care. His new outfit was working. Most people would rather stare at him than worry about what cards Husk had. Uh, yeah, yeah. Husker didn't mind much anymore, though. He still expresses annoyance when anyone sexualizes Angel when he's in earshot. It was a busier day today. Lots of people. Husker was busy with souls. Angel was trying his hardest to keep Husker's glass full, but eventually Angel needed to use the bathroom and ask, and ask Husker. Which he nodded in instantly as he drew another card from his hand. Angel stared at him for a while. He always looked so serious when betting souls. Angel preferred him when he- wait, Angel pref Angel preferred him when it was them too, because Husker's actions clearly diff- or- wait. Oh fuck! <laughs> because Husker acts completely different around, around just them. Why the fuck did my brain cell work? <laughs> Me. He just smiled and waved at Husker, which he just waved slightly with his wing, not daring to take his eyes off his opponent. What? What the fuck you mean? Essay slash but what? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, age restricted video. Let's fucking go. All right. <laughs> Angel stepped into the fam. Wait, they have a family bathroom. What's the point of a family bathroom in hell? <laughs> What's it like Target? Hold on. Angel stepped into the family bathroom. He preferred it, more private. He looked at himself in the mirror. God, my makeup is all smudged. Angel sighed their noise as he pulled out a makeup kit from his fluffy chair. You can. Put things in there? <laughs> you can. It's like a wallet. <laughs> you can't hide things in your hair? Do, oh, I guess. Do you, oh, never mind. Because I, I know people, like, well, girls, like, they'll they'll put money in their bras and whatnot, then, and then they take them out. I guess, I guess that kind of acts like it's like you just put shit in it. <laughs> it takes it out when it <laughs> needs it. It was a few minutes of fixing his makeup when someone entered the bathroom as well. Hey! Angel turned and looked at the weasel-like demon standing in the doorway, eyes wide. Occupied, get out, Angel said, flipping off the demon. But the demon didn't leave, and closed her behind him, locking it. Oh. Angel's eyes widened as he saw the demon was practically drooling. Are you on something? I said get out, I'm using this bathroom, Angel said. The weasel demon stared practically through Angel as he coughed out. Oh, I've- I, I've waited for this moment- for a moment like this, Angel. Ever since you started working here, I've waited for this perfect day. The weasel- Weasel whip- oh fuck, wipes- fuck. Wiped the drool from his jaw as his arm- with his arm, and he pulled out a small pocket knife. Angel backed up. Shit. Listen, buddy, we can talk this out. The weasel- Chuckled to himself, his eyes in a murky haze. Just stand still for me, the weasel asked as he launched himself at Angel, crashing into him, sending Angel into the tiled walls of the bathroom. Angel went to kick the fucker, but was stopped by the weasel grabbing Angel's hand and sta oh, stabbing right through it, pinning him against the wall. How strong is that knife? <laughs> Damn, I mean, he is a spider, though. Yeah. You know how they people, like, pin spiders? Oh! Man's getting fucking- he, he got, the, like, the Jesus treatment of, like, getting stabbed through the hand. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> oh. <laughs> terrible, this terrible. Is, this is a serious moment. <laughs> Fuck! Angel yelled as he- as he shoved him off. As he tried to get his hand free of the knife. 
Angel tried to use his other six arms. Wait, other, I guess other five. Okay. But the tight uniform he requested wasn't catered to, to that part of him. He was stuck with only two of his arms. The weasel got up and launched himself at Angel, grabbing one of his one free and pinned it against the wall with his palm. Stand still, the weasel whispered as he went in to kiss Angel. Angel started to freeze up. He was relieved. Oh, he was reliving Val all over again. His thoughts were cut short when he heard a bang at the door. Uh, fuck. Hold on. Wait, hello? What? <laughs> hello? Yeah? Oh, okay. I was like, oh god, I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I, okay. I thought you were saying that because some shit was about to happen. <laughs> I don't know, no. I just- I couldn't hear you, so I'm just like, oh god. Okay. <laughs> you scared me for a minute, I was like, oh my god. I really had to stop recording in disgust. <laughs> Angel instantly called out, help, before he was cut off by the weasel, punching him in the face, leaving Angel's eyes swollen and bleeding. Again, the door shook. Someone was- wasn't knocking, they were trying to get in. Angel heard a familiar voice yelling from behind the door, soon a familiar claw, smashing through the- the door, the claw felt around before eventually retreating. The weasel was scrambling to try to pull the knife away from Angel's hand. When the entire door flew off its hinges, Hussier had kicked down the entire door. His eyes widened as he saw a bruised Angel with a weasel standing over him. Angel, Hussier yelled as he dashed towards and held the weasel by the throat before slamming him into the bathroom mirror. The weasel's face filled with glass shards. He was kicking at Husker's torso as he tried to get free with the sharp claws and impairing his throat. Husker slammed, in, slammed him into the ground. Angel stared, started, oh, stared with panic as Husker started to wail on the demon. Blow after blow, Husker was muttering something while punching the weasel in the face. Husker finally stopped. His entire court torso was covered in blood. His hands were even worse, covered in a brain matter and bone fragments. The weasel's head looked like a smushed pumpkin. Husker seemed to snap out of it once he looked at the condition Angel was in. Angel! Oh, God, here! Husker pulled the knife from the impaling Angel's hand out of the wall with ease and more gently pulled the knife from Angel's hand. Angel tried to stand but couldn't. I can't fucking move. What the fuck? Angel cried as he tried to look at Husker in the eye. Husker looked at the knife for a second before turning back to Angel. He was coated with the sensitive- oh, se fuck. Sed sedative. Sedative, thank you. To make you weak. Come on. Husker picked Angel up bridal style. On hand on- on hand on over the knees and the other right in the center of his back. Angel's good hand wrapped around Husker's neck for support. Husker walked out of the bathroom with his wings with his wings covering Angel. Everyone out. We're closed. A mixture of sighs of annoyance and relief for those in the middle of gambling. Husker leaned over to the imp and growled, Clean up that bathroom. It's a mess. Angel stared in confusion as Husker carried him a flight up a flight of stairs into a room also labeled Husker. Why do you have two rooms labeled Husker? Husker? Husker laid Angel down on the bed in the room and said, Cause this is my bedroom. Husker dug through a drawer of medical supplies and grabbed some bandages and alcohol. Husker sat down gingerly on the bed, not looking at Angel in the eye. I'm really sorry I wasn't faster. Angel cocked an eyebrow up and laughed. Why are you apologizing? You saved me, didn't you? That's enough for me. Husker gently picked up Angel's injured hand and began cleaning it. This'll sting. Husker grunted before pouring a bit of alcohol onto Angel's wounds. I wasn't fast enough to stop this. You got hit in the face. I, I should have been there. Husker continued while starting to wrap Angel's wound with a band-aid. You kidding me? Uh, fuck. I've had much worse from Val. This was a cakewalk. Angel laughed, almost blowing it off. I am not Val. 
uh, nor is a mistake like this something I can ignore. I'll have to talk to about with my imps about security. Let's do tighten the bandage. Good? Klaus asks, looking at Angel. Angel nodded. It's not that big of a deal, Husk. I'll heal and get- and I'll be back working tomorrow. Husser shook his head. No, he tried to rape you, damn it. I- Angel stared at Husker with wide eyes as Husker's fate- Fate- like, fuck. Gaze softened. I can't let you get hurt, Husker said while holding Angel's bandaged hand in the palm of his hand. Angel felt his face heat up and instantly looked away from Husker. Angel had no idea what made him look away, or even blush. It could have been the gentleness of his touch, or even the low tone of his caring words. Either way, Angel was a mess. I... Th thank you. Angel finally peeped out. Husser let go of Angel and stood up from the bed to grab something. Is there anything else I can... I can make it up to you, Angel? Husker said, with his back to Angel. Angel smirked before, but before he could say anything lewd, Husker corrected himself. Anything appropriate? Husker sighed. Angel laughed and pondered for a minute. Take me on a date, Angel finally said. Husker looked around. What? A, a date? I don't... Angel could swear he saw an inch of red under the overlord's fur. Angel laughed. Not like a romantic one. Unless, Angel said seductively, Husker stopped him. It, it wouldn't be a romantic one, but if you want to, I'll take you two on a date, I suppose. Husker said with a with blush now fully evident on his face. Don't try anything, though. If you try anything, I'll leave you on the street. Husker barked with a, with a smirk on his face. Oh, Scout's Honor, I won't do a thing. Angel said, smiling widely. Just get some rest. You gotta heal up, Angel. Husser said, taking a swig of alcohol he had used on Angel. I, used to, I, I was thinking this was rubbing alcohol. Did he just pour, like, a thing of whiskey on his hand? Oh, it's probably, like, Everclear or something. Okay. I was really thinking this was rubbing alcohol. He's like, alright, you're good now. And just started drinking just, rubbing alcohol. Can you alcohol. imagine you're at the doctor's? <laughs> Then you do that rubbing alcohol thing, and then you just hear your dog, you're swinging it. Oh my god, that's so me right now. <laughs> Angel looked around. On your bed? Angel said with with the blood starting to rise in his face. Husker rolled his eyes. No, damn it, in your bed. Can you walk there? Angel nodded and tried to stand up, only to fall right back down the bed. No. Nope. Angel shrugged. Husker grumbled annoyed. I'll sleep in my office. Good night, Angel. Husker waved him goodbye before he left the room, allowing Angel to fall quickly asleep. How do we feel about that? <laughs> I'm enjoying it so far. Mm. Honestly, me too so far. This, this is pretty good. Now, do we want to read the next chapter, or should we just end it here? Mm, I think we should just end it here. Alright. You're like, oh, I don't have to read anymore, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because normally we do four chapters. Yeah. We'll do two or four, we always go evens. Yeah. Even Stevens. And you mentioned the word Steven. I think I we've only done Steven. one pick where we did, like, three. Yeah. It all really depends on the length of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes we could just finish a book then and there because they have short parts and whatnot, but... Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm very much enjoying this book so far. This, this is pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to see where it goes. Feelings? Just looking at, like, the titles of, like, the, um... Of, like, future The chapters, chapters. has me curious. I can't believe they're about to go on a date. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Well, you know what time it is. Spin the wheel? Yes. Yes! The I wheel. love spinning the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We got a lot of different I have so much stuff on this wheel. 
Hasn't yeah. been like this since back in the day. Yeah, back in the day when we... <laughs> when we, when we, got when we had like, so little. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, then we did the purge and... Now yeah. we're back here! Yeah. Okay. I'm so scared. <laughs> Sanji X Reader? Sanji X Reader? Alright, Usopp! <laughs> Usopp! 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 Usopp is literally... It, we're gonna end up finishing Usopp before we finish any other fix. Yeah. We're gonna finish Usopp before Waluigi is... Oh my god. Well, be fair. Which Waluigi is hilarious. It's pretty long. <laughs> also, that is with, true. With that Waluigi-ism one, I, like, I, I asked my mother-in-law about some of the parts in it. Yep, it comes straight from the Bible of some of the, the shit. I mean, we're like halfway done with Waluigi-ism. We're only halfway done with Waluigi. <laughs> We're only halfway done with the religious, <laughs> like, Bible. <laughs> Honestly, just, and if you know- I love this Bible rewrite. <laughs> this was all written in one day. It, oh shit, yeah, you're right, it was. It's honestly a beautiful work oh of art. God. You don't want to sit there and read the Bible? Just read that. It, it's, it just replaces some of the character names of, like, Mario characters. So I did check that guy that's like talking to the fire bush. That is Moses. <laughs> so not only does uh, he yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. a fire bush, I do he's that. gonna split the the Red Sea, man. Is it the Red Sea? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He splits some fucking water in it. It looks dun, kinda cool. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh wait, I can't do too much. <laughs> Copyright, whatever. Damn, they're gonna pick up on your voice and be like, "That's totally accurate to the the thing." Do you want to? <laughs> It's like the whole Prince of Egypt soundtrack. Oh, I never watched Prince of Egypt. <laughs> Literally used to listen to the soundtrack religiously. The pun is intended, but like... <laughs> I didn't even think of that until you just said that, it, like, the, like, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never watched it. I don't oh know God. why I never watched it. I mean, there's a lot of movies I, I've never watched. Like, I've actually never watched Hercules. Honestly, yeah. Me neither. I've seen, like, snippets. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen, like, a, I'm not a movie person. I love soundtracks, though. Yeah. Like, if a soundtrack is good, I will listen to it forever. Dude, you should listen to the Dane Rapa soundtrack. That shit goes hard. I will send you the Did OSC I send you any- Did I- Did I send you that Dang and Rompa thing with Sans? Oh, yes! Sans, Undertale, and uh, Nagi took him either. Yep, yep. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, it reawakened a, a, a crack shit from back in the day. Why did you send me <laughs> I was like streaming too, and I was like, "Oh, Joe Lee sent me photos," and I'm like, "On TikTok, she, she sent me like, 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 like images, like TikToks that someone made." Because I, <laughs> so, and I opened it, I'm like, oh "Wait, my what? God, it's, it's Nagito and Sans getting married." <laughs> I gotta always clarify. What? Wait, why would you clarify that I sent you the thing? Glass. The last thing I need is someone to take a clip of that out of context. <laughs> Wait, and no, they, repeat what you just said. I don't think I processed. Well, I don't want people- wait, wait, the whole thing I said? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I processed what, what it would have been like, out of context. I don't know. I just sent you a TikTok. Because it just said- because on, on TikTok it said, like, it said your name, like, Jolene, and it said shared photos, and on stream I looked, I saw the message, and I was like, oh, Jolene sent me photos! And then it was like, on TikTok, I mean, like, someone, like, said, like, anyway, I'm gonna go over- <laughs> Because <laughs> I sounded like really excited. Because like when I get when you send me stuff, I know it's gonna be gold. Because you specifically had me in mind when you were like, oh, I'm gonna send this to Phoenix <laughs> and, and shit. Like all the Sanji edits and all all the all the cosplayers mm -hmm. and all that. I'm just like, I sometimes I'm hesitant to send you edits. Like sometimes I don't send you edits purposely. Cause you just, I don't feel like you're an edits person. Okay. I feel like you more like. Like comics and like, and other sort of base off media. Well, I started getting into edits because of Vox and Perfect. Puzzle. <laughs> no, literally, I'd rather you do Vox than that weird Puzzle guy. Why? What's wrong with Mr. Puzzle? <laughs> have you seen Mr. Puzzle? I have. I watched the, me... the whole Puzzle Vision uh, in episodes. I let me have this, right? Let me see if Tumblr could convince me. Yeah, he's pro 
doubt, 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 but you know. I don't know, he's all over my TikTok page. The song that he performs is really good. I'll sing the song. I'll get you no. convinced that this man's good. No, absolutely not. He's voiced no. by a Oh my god, literally. <laughs> what? No. What's wrong? No. Genuinely Did cannot send me anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, what's wrong what did I with send it? you? I don't know. I just saw a bunch of. I just saw my phone vibrate. I'm like, oh shit! Jolene's making fun of me by sending me stuff. Oh, I haven't sent you anything. I only send you things. I've only been sending you things on Tumblr. Good, good. I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to remember the YouTuber that actually voices uh, Mr. Puzzle. Is like Jello, uh, uh, Jello Oculus, I think. I will find it. Really good voice actor. Anyway, we're getting really sidetracked. <laughs> I'm very sidetracked. Yeah, sorry. It's always like at, like after book discussion. I'm being a sidetrack. Yeah, we we love getting sidetracked. But anyway, Jillian, thank you for joining, man. It was nice. Really it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. It's a, it's mm -hmm. an honor. I'm really hoping. Oh, it's your favorite. I that's my. I'm been, I'm cheering for it. Season two, there better be some fucking development. Honestly, though. Some kind. Honestly, yeah. Yay! Let's go, man. And uh, I'm actually really hoping that I have a couple of Etsy pins saved of Husker Dust. I'm really hoping I, I buy one of them in the future. And whatnot. They're really cute. They're, they're really cute little pins. Some of them are like based off of the Loser Baby song. So I'm, I'm hoping oh, I can get my little hands on them. That's so sweet. <laughs> in, the, in the description, there's a bunch of links, including on Limit 2. My Twitter, Instagram, Discord server, and the person that made my profile banner, my PNG2, and my girlfriend, Astro Gummy. Their cards link below in the description with all their social medias, including conventions that they're going to in the future. So if you see them there, be sure to say hello. And then thank thank you again, Jolene, for letting me use your voice <laughs> and likeness to read books and <laughs> and, and continue this Wat That series. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, man. You're a real one. <laughs> but yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!